What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan coming at you with another episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Um, I have been working on the village. I get tired of having to come in and repair the doors and and fix things and save the villagers from the zombies. So what I've been doing is working on a wall to surround the entire village. And I've gotten quite a bit of it done. Um, as you can see, I got the four entrances finished that I wanted to do, one on each side. And those kind of line up across from each other. Now, like, I didn't exactly measure the distance between corners. I just kind of surrounded the overall village. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Because I'm actually going to be putting lights in the middle of it, redstone lamps. Um, I'm not doing anything fancy like with a, a night and day timer or anything. What I'm basically doing is just a simple torch under each one. And they're always lit. As you can see. And what I've done is I've done stairs with glass panes. Just to give it a little kind of a beveled look. Just to make it look a little more interesting. And I'm continuing this theme all the way around. I'll go show you where I have it done. I've done quite a bit over here. I just haven't put the lamps in because it's going to take a lot of glowstone. And I need to go to the nether and get that. But, as you can see over here, I've got it ready. got it all nice and pretty and what I did for the different levels is I just went up and then did it and then went up again and did the next three so on and so forth all the way until you get over here which I forgot to take the stone block ah super and so what I've done though is that and I probably should throw some torches down oh yeah I can't throw torches in between oh wait did I yes I did okay good this is just make do until I put some uh, redstone lamps in there as it's currently getting nighttime Let's go sleep in bed. All the villagers are doing it. Haha. -ha. I sleep outside before it gets dark. Alright. So. That's what I've been working on. And so my goal right now is just to keep working on it and give you guys a little idea of what it's been taking me to do this. Excuse me. I have the hiccups for some reason right now. And I got my super spoon. Alright, so this... is like that. And then it's going to come down here to the next level. Yeah, that's total failure on my part. Ah, it's going to run into my house. I guess I could have my house be part of the wall, at least for the inside level. It won't hurt anything. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. And so this is going to come down a level. Because I really don't feel like filling in all the sand. Yeah, I'm hungry. I don't want to fill in all the sand in here to bring it up a level. Um, 
So what I'm doing is essentially I'm just bringing the wall down to the level that I need it at. Fail again. Wow. I just can't win today. And we'll replace the food again. So this is basically... Oh, need to do a pillar here so it has a transition to the lower side. That way it doesn't look so funny. Because what I've been doing is I've been using... I don't have any on me. Workbench time. I just need to make some real quick. I thought I had some, but I guess I left them back at the other chest. Ah, we're stock full. Um, yeah, that's fine. So what we're doing here is I will show you. Um, these. I need those. So this will have to come up. Two more. There we go. Perfect. Essentially, I'm using the half slabs to place the stairs against and to keep things from spawning on top, of course. I think in the next patch they're going to be able to spawn on top of upside down stairs and half slabs, though, which is going to make things interesting. Ah. No, Bo can't do that. Thank you. Actually, I should probably be... putting some... I'm putting the things beneath it just in case creepers blow up against the wall for whatever reason. They don't completely annihilate my uh, my wall and the area around it. So that's what I'm doing this for. Um, but if it already has some stone, I'm not really replacing it. I mean, I could be using cobblestone, I guess, for this, but... Oh, that's going to be a transition spot, too. So then these are all face outside. And I gotta watch out for that. Man, that was a fail block place. Yay! So, yeah, this is what I've been spending quite a bit of time on. I needed a break from the, the base. Um, I've been putting a lot of work into that. And... I just needed a break. So I thought I would do something pretty cool with uh, the village. Because I wanted to... I get tired of seeing my villagers get attacked and killed. And I want to have it grow. And it's currently not growing because the villagers keep dying. Because my iron golems just aren't cutting it at sometimes. Let's see. I can't place that... Uh, we can do it this way, though. Place that. And there we go. Voila. No bad block. Um, I have gotten quite a bit done on the base, actually. Uh, that's going to be another video later that I'll show you guys where we're at. Uh, you know, I have a fetch and shovel. Where to go? There we go. Wow, super shovel. So I've got quite a bit done on the base. I'm pretty happy with the progress I've been making. Alright, that is the right angle. Um, but I just, all that digging and all the blasting and all the TNT, it's just like, oh, it gets to you. And so I wanted to take a break from that and give you guys something different. Hence the village project. Wow, there they are. I was like, did I already go through all those? No, I didn't. 
So this is project save the village or something clever along those lines. But basically it's my way of trying to make the villagers live longer. And this is how I gauged where to, uh, I use these as guides to kind of draw the lines around everything, but I didn't actually do much more than that with them. You know, I could always just dig out around the house, but then I'd have to dig out that. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. Bad Torhan. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it, dude. No, no, no. You are going to do it this way. You know, I could always just start the... the transitioning there. Or I can just dig it out like this really fast. Don't worry, I'll fill in the little holes later. I'm just not going to do it right now. Because I'll probably end up turning all this, in this into um, sand so it looks a little bit better. Because I don't like the look of the mix. Eh, that was a little lag on my part. Probably a fraps lag, I bet. So, that's that. Drop it like that. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, I don't know why I started singing that. I heard somebody else mention that lame, that song. Ah, blast. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I have the stairs there. No. Bad block. But yeah, you guys. Um, how's everybody doing? You know, it's been a little bit since I uploaded a video just because I've been dealing with a bunch of stuff and it's been kind of crazy. I had, um, I'm an IT consultant for a living, uh, for those of you that didn't know. And I had a really big crash on one of our servers this week that I manage and maintain actually last week and it took we had to order new parts and put everything together and rebuild the raid array uh, it was just an ugly 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 mess and I finally got everything back in the office working uh, the clients happy again you know, it only took a week to do it oh, two weeks to do it give or take um, but yeah and it wasn't even something that was my fault the uh, the motherboard that we used just completely went bad, uh, and none of us expected it at all. Um, and the bad thing is the client's located in Salt Lake, so I had a I had to coordinate um, a bunch of people to take care of this because I'm in Hong Kong, and so I had to coordinate with a friend of mine to go pick up the machine to help me get it all ready. And then help me get it back into their their office, so that way they could um, have their server back. And it's for a smaller office, but still, you know, having downtime like that sucks. And so I spent pretty much all of my time the past week or so just doing nothing but that. And so I was kind of sad because I wanted to play Minecraft. But, you know, what do you do? You know, it's either work and get paid and be able to play Minecraft or don't get paid and have your wife try to kill you. I decided that I wanted to survive and not wind up dead. So I worked. So hopefully this week is a lot calmer and I can work on my Minecraft Let's Play. So I think I'm going to leave that little piece open for now. So we can get back here a little bit easier. And go 
this way. Sand, you're in my way, buddy. Blasted sand. And I have a, I have an idea for how to improve my upload speed and shrink these video files down. Because I noticed that YouTube converts them to FLV format. So I'm going to pre-convert my videos to an FLV. And see if I can decrease the overall size. So it doesn't take as long to upload. And then I can actually do more videos. So I don't have to wait for, wait for them to upload. Because I don't have the best upload. And because of where I live, I can't really get a better upload. I'm kind of stuck with what I got, essentially. And I do want better. But, unfortunately, they don't offer better for where I live. That's what I get for having a giant dog and needing open space for him to run around and play. So that's the curse I deal with. Slow internet. I went from a 50 megabit by 50 megabit to 6 megabit by 2 if I'm lucky. So you can imagine how I feel. A little deprived would be the correct answer. I mean, I, I, I deal with it. It's not totally bad, but you know, at the same at the same time, it's like wow. I keep, I used to be able to upload seven or eight things at a time at like two or three megabytes a second, and now I'm getting, you know, uh, 400 kilobytes a second if I'm lucky. Yeah, but you make do. You make do. All right, so we're just gonna build it to here on this side. Ooh, need to fill it in. And then give us some brick. No bad bricks. Bad. So that's why you guys haven't seen much many videos from me recently, is I've been actually doing the whole work thing. And it's been it's been fun, but I'm ready for some Minecraft. So this video is going to go out tomorrow, which is Sunday for me, Saturday for most of you guys. Um, and that's just because that's the easiest day for me to publish it because I'm going to be, uh, I'll be gone actually because I have that lovely thing called church. So I'll be going to church. And while I'm at church, it should be uploading or finished uploading if I can get the file size to shrink properly. And if I get the file size to shrink properly, uh, we should be in business. Uh, so my goal is to get the file size down. Which I will know better in a little while if it does that or not. So what I need to do is add these. Right? Yeah, that's right. Because those go there. All right. And I'm just I'm just kind of doing a little halfway done one, so you guys can kind of just get an idea of what I've been doing. I'm not going to finish the whole thing with you guys on camera. That would be really boring for you. Um, but yeah, so if anybody ever has computer questions, you know, send them my way. I don't mind helping people with them. Um, I'm pretty good with what I do. I've been doing it for a long time. I have... Uh, I don't have a degree in computer sciences, but I actually taught myself how to program and I've been working in the industry for 15 years. Now, started my own business. I've been done... Uh, I've done different development projects for different companies. I used to work for Easton Sports. Uh, I worked for 3M for a while. Uh, I even did some work for uh, some local companies in Salt Lake that just had needed a .NET developer at one point in time or another. So you know, I've done I've done quite a bit of work, 
and I've always enjoyed it. Move chicken. And I've also done anything from networking to system system building to servers, you know, you name it. I pretty much do all that stuff still. I mean plastic glass. The companies that I manage in Salt Lake, you know, I basically do uh I basically do um Really? Thank you. I do uh, remote network management. <laughs> Lame. So I handle all their company's um, network issues and their server maintenance and stuff all remotely from Hong Kong. So that's why when there's a problem, they pretty much call me and say, hey, can you fix it? And I just log in normally and I can fix it. Uh, but when the RAID crashes and the hardware stops working, kind of hard to log in remotely but that's besides the point but yeah so if anybody ever has a you know just general question you know send it my way if I know the answer I'll send it to you real quick and or I'll tell you where to go to find the answer so that way you can learn as well but either way yeah so but that's basically what it's gonna be end up looking like all the way around and I kinda like that blending into the building Maybe I'll go in and I'll make this whole, those two walls stone instead. Nah, I kind of like it with the wood. I do, I think I like it with the way the wood looks. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it that way. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it with the wood or should I change it to stone? That is the question of the day. Ah, blast you. All right. So I'm going to wait to fill those in with glass. And this is how I did the entrances. Basically, it's just a single door. Um, I know s and spiders can't get through because it's only a single wide. And skeletons can't see me, so they can't shoot me. But that's looking pretty good. I like the way that's looking. Yeah, that looks really good. And the only, the only other thing I wanted to get your guys' opinion on, one last thing, is this here. Now, I'm thinking of switching to the current snapshot so I can do the multicolored stairs and slabs. Because I was thinking of doing like a dark wood with sandstone. So like you'd have the dark, the dark, dark, dark wood with the sandstone blocks in between for the pathways. Here's what it looks like with uh, cobblestone and, and stone slabs. And here's what it looks like with wood and sandstone. And I'm liking the wood and sandstone, but I want to use a dark wood so that way it stands out from the buildings. Because here's your buildings, and I want it to kind of stand out. And then I would basically do the, the pathway like this all the way around. So it would be kind of, eh, fraps lag. It would basically be down a level. So you'd walk down. So you'd come down here, and then it would go down into this ground a level. So it would replace this, and it would be all the way around. And I'm actually thinking of sending a, getting rid of my farm there and sending a road to that building or from gate to gate and doing the same and I, I'm doing the same thing here gate to gate and that would kind of centralize town but I might have to move this building over one to do so which isn't a big deal or I can just remove the building entirely but actually um, those two buildings are next to each other so Hmm, maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. Actually, no, I'll just use this road, extend it out, and then curve it around to the gates. That's what I'll do. But anyways, you guys, um, I just want to say thanks for watching and subscribing. And if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Otherwise, you know, I um, hope everybody's doing well, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.